hello everyone welcome back to another informative video in this video i want to show you an hydroponic uh, system setup that basically uses two type of hydroponic uh, method which is the um, using the substrate uh, perlite and um, the nft system which is nutrient film technique which is that one that is vertical in the pipes there so let us talk about the the one that uses the perlite remember hydroponic production or hydroponic crop production is basically growing plants without the use of soil so you can use basically other substrates like perlite rock wool gravel um, sand those kind of things right so let us talk about what um, this system comprises so with the hydroponic system you obviously need a reservoir there is a reservoir right and we also have another one up there that controls the the um the nft system so we have a, a reservoir that holds the water and the pump to pump the water and then um so that's the tank right and the pump so you need basically a a, a, a pipe or a line that basically takes the water from the reservoir and put it into each bucket and after that you also want a return line that returns the water from the bucket into the the reservoir so it's basically it is essentially a recirculating system so let us talk some more about the setup of one bucket which is going to be consistent for all the buckets so with the bucket as i said you have the line that brings the water and the nutrients from the main reservoir this is a line and it has a hole in it right some people might put a little hose on it right um, so that uh, you know maybe it won't just putting a hole in it it might be spraying about a uh, different direction but some people will definitely put some attachment on it so that it goes directly down into the um, bucket so this this line has the, a hole in it each of them have a hole in it so this hole as I said is to for the water to go into the bucket and as you can see this is a mesh that is used to prevent the perlite from going through the mesh and and contaminating the main reservoir or blocking the lines the return lines so this is the bucket which is your your, your grow pot basically um, this pipe here is basically set at about two to two and a half two two and a half three inches basically um, and it, it is used as the return line so as soon as the water or the nutrients the solution reaches this height it basically starts to run back into the um, return line or the pipe which is this pipe here as you see it goes back to the main reservoir so um, you need the return line in the bucket so the reason for having it at two and a half three inches is to basically leave enough solution in the bucket to, to 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 keep the roots or the plant alive you don't want it to be completely dry so after you leave this amount in the as in the reservoir you'll basically have capillary action happening with the perlite right um throughout the time when the pump is not turned on for for the the the, the, the plant to get watered from the top right so that is that so that is basically what happens essentially for all of these buckets right and the important thing is to understand that from your reservoir you need a line that a pump that pumps the water through a pipe and pumps the water into your bucket and then you also need a return line that when when it drains from all your bucket it will basically drain back to the bucket and as i said it is essentially a recirculating system right and as you can see you can make it as long as you want and it's all also on on this side as well now um, before we move on to the nft system let us talk about what we are seeing here these are basically some cars and these are basically used for trellising right any kind of plant support right so if you're planting tomatoes these can be used to keep the vines upright and so on so any kind of plant you're planting that needs support these are the cards that they use to support them right um so yeah so let's move on to the next system which is the nft system oh and i forgot something this is basically perlite this that you are seeing is perlite right and um, that is one substrate or growing medium that you can use in your hydroponic setup you can also use gravel um, you can use you can basically use um, rock wool and so on right so 
um, let's move on to the NFT system. This is the NFT system, and, and an NFT system is basically a nutrient film technique. So what, what that essentially means is that the, the, the plant is not getting, is not the plant root is not submerged in water the entire time. It just get gets a mist of, of 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 water every now and then passing over its roots. So let us look at what is happening. So this is basically a vertical system, right? Looking like more like a, a, a like, like an A shape. Right, with one system on this side, one system on this side. Um, let us first talk about the, how it's structurally made. So, um, what happens is it is set on a gradient, right? So, if you look, it's kind of set upwards, so you will have gravity flow coming down, right? So, here is basically uh, these two ends is basically what you call a return line that will return the water from all of these um, pipes return the, the water to the main reservoir so as you can see one is coming from here one is coming from here and it comes into one here and it goes down so let us go down at the, the next hen and show you exactly what is happening so as i said earlier this is basically the tank for this system right and again this tank will have a pump in it that pumps the water so this is basically the the line that goes into the tank that the pump pumps the water hop into this line to the highest point it pumps it to the highest point. When it pumps it to the highest point, it's basically teed off. So one, one side going to this side, one side going to this side, and the water basically flows. The water flows, as I said, if you look, it's basically sloped downward. So when the water comes in this, it doesn't need any kind of active energy to really um, send the water down that side, right? Down to that end. When you, when you lean it, put it on a, on a slope, basically the whole adhesion and, and, and cohesion um, of water, you know, will cause it to, the water to, to, to run to the next hen. So, so as I said, it comes up to the ice point here and goes into both pipes and then it goes, it flows down, just watch me, it flows down, flows down, flows down, and while it's flowing down, it's basically passing over the roots of each plant and when it comes here it basically runs down into this pipe right then it goes into this one right then it flows back it flows back to the to that end right it flows back to that end when it reaches there down to this end right when it reaches down to this end it basically flows it, it flows down through this right and it flows back to that end so essentially we have three pipes here but the three pipes are not all set on the same um, slope in one direction this one this first one is basically set that way for the water to flow down when you reach down there this second one is basically um, let me show you this second one here is basically uh, is basically set that way so the water can flow down right and then when you go to the last one it's basically slope it's slope like this first one up here right so when it comes in that last one here this one this one here it basically comes down to the return line because this is the end of its its, its journey in terms of running through the pipe because remember it it came in from the highest point down there and it runs come it run come to this section and it goes that section and then it comes back down like this then it reaches the return line and it goes into this the same as this one goes into this and it just flows back into the main reservoir down there so let us talk a little bit about the the hole in the pipe so obviously this hole in the pipe is is where you're going to put your plants but when you have a plant if especially if you are growing plants in your seedlings in like for example oasis cubes oasis cubes will just fall through and it will just fall into the pipe so what you want to do is you want to put those plants in some form of support structure before you put it in the hole right so um, you can basically a cheap method is using styrofoam cups right you can basically fill your styrofoam cup with some kind of um, inert medium like you could you could fill it with some kind of gravel you know or you could put perlite in it right just to support the plant roots right and then you could bore little holes in the side of the cup and on in the bottom of the cup as well where the roots will grow out through and then you just put the cup inside the, the the pipe right and then 
the roots will, because the roots are growing out of the cup it will basically the, the water passing down or the solution passing down will basically pass over the roots and th that is how they'll, they'll get their film of water right they are not going to be submerged in water it's just when the water the, 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 the pump is turned on it just basically flows um, flows and flows and then it's then it then it then it reaches the return line and then it stops right so um, that is how it gets watered but the, the, the thing with this system is that it needs to be watered more often because it's not like the roots will be suspended in any kind of medium that that is holding water right um, it will get some amount of moisture from the growing medium that you'll put um, the inner medium that you'll put in the cup but not much right not much so you definitely have to ensure that you water um, frequently right and so that you don't have your plants dying so so this is essentially what the, what an nft system looks like and of course you can make this as long as you want as long as you want right but make it make it a good height that, that you can manage right um, this is a good height because i can pass over my hand and, and deal with them this is a good system to plant your herbs whatever you know um, leafy greens you know those kind of things lettuce those kind of things that's a good system this system here which which are the which have as the perlite are the um tomatoes right and they, and they grew very well so um again this is basically the the setup as you can see it's fairly simple um but you know how you how you do it and how you maintain it that is where the technical the technicality comes in um especially when you start when you need to mix your nutrients and, and so on right so um, if you have any questions, any comments, please put them in the comments here. I know this is, know this is a lot of information um, um, uh, being put to you, but ask your questions. I'll, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And please remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.